the day has come and I've made my first trading mistake. And it was a stupid one as well. I cannot believe how stupid I was at a moment. However, it has nothing to do with the trading psychology. So I invite you to check out this video and check out what I did wrong. Stay tuned, we are coming right back. Good morning everybody and welcome back to another daily Forex market analysis. It's the Tuesday, the 19th of March. So what do we got here is the yesterday's bad pattern that I did not took because and here's a video about it that I recorded yesterday. So check it out in the top right corner of this video. You have a card leading to this video right there where I explain why I did not get engaged into this bad pattern. But here is something very interesting. So I'm going to delete this one. And what you can see here that we might have another bad pattern today. And here's where emotions can come in uh, for, for all of us traders. As you can see, we have an X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D completion right there. And we just got to check this, this candle right there, the highest uh, of uh, X to A to B of B to C. Can, uh, B to C like touch the 38.2 retracement. I think it did. Yeah, it's spiked through it. So yeah, we will have a valid bad pattern. And here's where, you know, you got to stick to your plan. You got to take each and every each and every trade that your uh, plan tells you. And I have to take the bad, bad pattern today if the rules are going to be met. Okay. The thing here is that I, because yesterday's one, one, but I didn't get engaged, but it, it won. If for somebody, if you have a different broker, you might you might get into a trade and you would be like 70 pips up today. I, I naturally start thinking, okay, there is not a chance that <clears throat> I can win today as well because, you know, two winners in a row, etc., etc. But historically looking, yeah, there, there was a winning streak where I was winning like seven, 10 trades per uh, in a row and losing up to four tra five trades in a row. So I have to take it, although it might be a little bit harder for me as well. Uh, I have to stick with my plan, so I will obviously do this if the opportunity presents itself. So I'm going to uh, set the price alert. Price alert. There we go. And I'm just going to wait for this to happen. So we have Aussie CAD. What do we have here from yesterday? Uh, there was a... Uh, bad pattern, yeah? No, it was not X to A, A to B, B to C. This was not a bad pattern. So what do we have today? Whew, maybe this as an X leg. Yeah, nothing, nothing. So yeah, we don't have anything on this pair so far. I just need to wrap up my uh, Cypher backtesting for this one. But besides the uh, last week's Cypher, X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D, and uh, completed a target one. I don't see anything else of a potential on our one. Aussie USD, Aussie USD. We might have a bad pattern that I'm not allowed to trade as per my rules. Here's the X to A, A to B, B to C, and then C D completion. We will see what's gonna happen. But for you guys that are allowed to trade the bad patterns, here it is. Here it is. You can take this one. There we go. So if you're looking to trade bads, this is the bad pattern that you might get engaged with. Okay, I'm gonna remove this because I'm not gonna trade it. Uh, euro dollar, euro euro. Uh, also, very similar situation, but I can trade bads here, so I will be engaging in a trade. There is a bad pattern on our one. Valing up, okay. So let's see where do you have to go. Uh, just just to verify, okay. It looks like there today will be a lot of action. Yeah, but yesterday I I thought the same thing, and however it turned out to be that I I almost got engaged in a trade, but you know I didn't. <laughs> so yeah. So uh, let me set up my alarms. There we go. That's it. Now I just gotta wait for alarm to get hit and then I'll place my orders. Pound dollar. I don't. 
Mm, let's see one thing though. Just one thing. Yeah. Okay. So uh, right now it's up to you. Okay. There is another thing that here I want to discuss with you. It's far away from a completion, but there is a bad X to A, A to what? B, B to C, and then we have a CD completion right there at 88. The thing is, however, that uh, some people might take this as the X leg. I don't because of the VIX and everything. And I think this is very uh, also valuable here. But yeah, that's just my opinion. If you if if you would take this and as X point, then it wouldn't be it would would it? Yeah, it would be a bad pattern. X to A, A to B would be here. B to C would be here, and then we would have this. I don't know how big of a risk will this be. I cannot trade the risks bigger than 75 pips on a bad pattern, so it might be out of my risk. Let's check it out. Uh, out of uh, bigger than my risk criteria. Uh, I'm sorry, this is my. Could be bigger. Could be. No, well, no, no, no. Far, far away from my biggest risk. Okay, so this is another bad pattern. I will just place um, an alarm here. There we go. And pound yen, what do we have here? Yesterday's, wow, I did not close this obviously. I don't know why. Yeah, nothing happened. That that would be a mistake though. Uh, okay, so besides this, my almost mistake, what do we have? Tuh. Well, something like this might, we might have something like, let me see. X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D. That's the only thing that I can see right now. Yeah, also X to A here, but it's far away from me to, you know, to even, you know, I'm just gonna let the price action do its thing and then I'm gonna see later what will happen with it because right now I don't see, if the price action could just as easily go down and uh, I know I won't be able to engage. So there is no point of me setting up the alarms or anything because we are so far away from the potential bad pattern. With that being said, guys, we come to the, we came to the end of this morning uh, morning pre market analysis or forex market analysis, and I hope to see you in a afternoon session. But if you're new here, this kind of stuff, this kind of videos, I do this on a daily basis. So if you're new, if you like this kind of video, <coughs> I'm sorry. If you're new and if you like this kind of a video. Please consider subscribing, also hit that like button, smash the bell button and share the video so that a lot of people can see it and so that as many people as possible can benefit from it. Uh, yeah, thank you very much and see you in a few seconds in the afternoon session. Yo, what's up everybody and welcome back to the afternoon session. Uh, as I said in the morning session, today was very, very interesting day in the market and a lot of things have happened. Uh, for the first time ever, uh, so in the, my second month live trading, I made my first mistake. And it was a weird mistake. It's not a psychological mistake, but it was, well, a weird mistake. So what happened? Here we go. So first of all, this is the bad pattern that I got engaged with, okay? And here's what happened. Da -da 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 -da. I have got engaged at around 80, around this price point, okay? And if I were to pl place my stop loss, I mean, I did, I did place my stop loss, but somehow I put them on the wrong uh, place. So I didn't put them here. I think I put them around here, something around here. And then I got, yeah, around zero, around this point, which is very weird. I don't know why I did that. It was that did i move them or something by mistake or something i don't know and then price closed me out and then i was checking out how did i get closed out so quickly you know what happened and then i said oh man i made a mistake i you know i uh put a stop loss on the wrong place so let me re-enter and then i did re-enter and then i got closed out for uh and again, I got closed out again on both positions. And although I did get a better a better entry than the first time, the entry was a little bit too late. It was not. It was actually uh, 
below the zero point zero, uh, it was above the zero, uh, the zero point where I got hit my stop loss. So I actually lost 10 pips more than I had to. So that's kind of a small lesson there. Uh, if you already made a mistake, don't re-enter or just be careful. Uh, maybe there, this was an emotional mistake at the end of the day because I didn't need to go inside of that trade again, but I decided to do so. Or if I wanted to do so, I should have rethink everything and maybe get a better position than I uh, when I was uh, first entering so that I could lose less if in, in case I get closed out. So yeah, that that's the one thing that happened today, and I'm kind of pissed. But yeah, you know, it is what it is. I will try not to happen, not to have this kind of stuff happen again. With that being said, let's move to Aussie CAD. Uh, I got nothing here, so there. Yeah, the the so the cipher that we had here last week uh, actually hit targets one, would close us for a break even on a second position and uh, did rally down to hit both of our targets, would be both of our targets. But uh, besides that cipher, I still do not see anything here. Uh, I did not get engaged in this. I'm not sure it was this even a pattern, uh, this X to A. Yeah, not, was nothing here. So yeah, uh, that's it for the Aussie cat, at least for me. And we had a big bad pattern for some some of you, if this was touching 38, 38.2, it did not for me, so I did not, I was not in this trade. However, for somebody, it might be great to target winner. Aussie USD, another trade that I was waiting today, uh, but did not happen. As you can see, this didn't happen. Uh, and then there was a second pattern that I saw was this. X to A, A to B, B to C, and then C to D here, but I'm after my time period, so I will not be engaging into this one. I'm just gonna, you know, maybe leave a triangle here just for my morning uh, so that I, I can remember that I was watching this and maybe so as a reminder, but I'm not allowed to trade bats on this anyway for some of you guys. That's why I didn't trade it. For some of you guys who are waiting this, that's good. If you're waiting this, is this a bat or guard lead? Let's just see. This would be this would be a Gartley. So I, I possibly tomorrow I will be able to trade this if this doesn't complete before. Okay. So this is what I have on a radar for tomorrow already. But so far nothing on this pair today. Euro dollar took me. Oh, actually I got a first target winner here. Yeah. So it's very interesting what we got here today. So look at this. X to A, A to B. And then we got also B to C, and we got a CD completion right here, I think. Yeah, somewhere around here. So what happened is, look, we have to follow the price, right? So we had our targets one here at 38.2, and then the price here rallied up and almost closed, closed us out. And our stop loss was around this price point where I'm holding my mouse right now. Then the, I had to drag my, trail my targets one, and I did to this price point where I got my targets one actually hit. My target one got hit around 12, uh, 12 uh, around noon GMT time. And then the second candle around 1 p.m. closed my second, was closed my, no, actually the same candle that hit my targets closed me for a break even for a second position just to have two hours later, uh, candle that almost hit targets too. I don't think this would close me, that this would hit my actual position, and I think this would be a second second target would be a break even for me. That's at least what I think. I'm not sure, you know, because of a spread, would this be big enough of a move? I cannot even zoom, zoom in a little bit more. Would this be, be good enough uh, because of a spread to close my second position? Because my second target would be at 61.8 retracement and the next candle would then close me out so that was the action today on euro dollar pound dollar we had xua yeah we didn't have anything here we were just something i was looking at this maybe if something happens but everything is seems so ugly so nothing happened here i'm not nothing basically nothing just sideways moving market i don't see anything here that i can get engaged with 
and then the pound yen i was also looking basic x a yeah also a bunch of nothing you know the, the yeah price didn't move much today so i didn't took any opportunities on pound yen so let me show you the results of uh, of today oh, so history this is actually i think uh current month but all history these are all of my trades so i'm currently up what maybe a, a little bit less than a half of a percent yeah a percent would be 20 euros and i'm currently up what a little less than half of a percent but that's what trading is if you can see the part now this is the newest one is where let's let's see by time oh yeah so here is the today's today's trades were uh sell on euro dollar uh made me five pips and then we have where is the usd cat i don't i'm not getting this why is a closing time i need a opening time but uh very very weird yeah i'm sorry guys well let, let's go today yeah there we go so a bunch of problems here so euro dollar sell here we closed our second position for a break even uh and our first position for profit of what five pips yeah kind of sucks but it's better profit than you know break even or or a loss and this is my biggest error, as you can see. So my stop loss was at, at minus 15 pips originally. I moved it somehow and then I re-entered. And altogether, this is a loss of 40 pips. When if, if I were to put my stop loss at the correct place in the beginning, I would be down 30 pips. So that kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Um, I'm, I will try not to repeat myself. Not to repeat the, that mistake, I will definitely note it in my journal. But that's it. That's what I have to say to everybody here watching this video today. If you like this kind of a content, consider subscribing. Also, if you're new here, if you are not new here, thank you for watching. I appreciate your spending this time and watching this video. I hope you find it valuable. Uh, if you like this kind of content, click that like button, share it, leave a comment below, tell me what you think about these videos. And yeah, see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.